Is your mind blown yet? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Look, the God of Witches prepared a gift for you in commemoration of your stay. You can find these new features on the title screen. <laughs> We're going to keep going. What? We're going to keep going. What? Oh, my God. Okay, you motherfucker. You got us. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, I know you want to process all of that, but we have a tea party to attend, sir. But, but what? We have a tea party to attend. So hold on, before you click on this, um, just to give you an idea what the tea party is, they're in Higurashi. Basically, it's a place where the characters in the game kind of get together and talk about like, like kind of, kind of like self refer referential right. so, about the story. So if I understand correctly, yes. at this point in the story, everyone lost, Beatrice won. Yes, Beatrice won. So what the fuck is the story? That's a great question. Can we go to the tea party? Look, we'll talk about this after we get through this shit. Trust me. Tea party is really useful for like coming up with more theories because they like talk about the mystery that just happened. Super uh. useful. So excited. Uh. Purgatorio. We're in purgatory, fam. Am I going to have to go fucking read Dante's Inferno? Uh, I'm glad you get that reference. No, but you know, referencing. It's a thing. I already read it once and I don't want to <laughs> do it again. Anyway. Let's keep going. Look, it's perfectly fine. Congrats on finishing Umineko no Nako Kurini. It's the full title of the game, doofus. Oh my god. Man, I still didn't have a clue what- Neither did I, Battler. <laughs> you dumb shit. Uh-huh. So, just what happened? <laughs> I'm just not- I can't do the voices. I no! Do the voices! Commit! Was that basically the bad ending where time runs out before the culprit gets exposed? Ooh, definitely a bad ending. <laughs> Ooh, I lost my jawbone. That's right. Beatrice's letter, which Maria Chan read on the first day, did tell us in advance to solve the riddle of the epitaph. We were all so busy trying to protect ourselves and look for the culprit that we didn't even take a shot at it. But what the fuck is the riddle? Oh, look, it's Shannon. She's that's, here. That's right. If it actually tried to solve the riddle, maybe things would have ended differently. I wonder about that. Shannon Chen, you did a good job too. <laughs> He's great. You don't have to be our waitress and serve tea. After all, this is a rap party. Yeah. So they're like actors in a in a play, sort of. It's pretty fun. I gathered. Yeah. There's a group of people who met a horrible fate. Let's all get along and lick each other's wounds. No. Lick, lick, lick. Not reading it. They're licking. Okay. Speaking of a horrible fate, Shannon beats the rest of us hands down, doesn't she? She's such a beautiful character, so I thought she definitely survived until the very end. She was killed right in the beginning, and on top of that, what was it? Half of her face was smashed, right? That's the worst. <laughs> my role, so there's no way around it. It's sucked for her. What can I say? Nay, nice, son, it's nothing for you to worry about. Judging by the last epilogue, even Milady and the rest of them met an extremely tragic end. I'm so glad Canon read the epilogue. It's great. They've all read the epilogue. It's great. <laughs> uh, it seems so. I think I remember seeing this horrible picture Kind of like my entire body had been eaten apart and dismembered. Can you do me a favor? Can you click system? Can you go system and go to characters for me? Uh. This is... Look at that. Let's just go through the characters, shall we? You sure me a battler. This fool made the world where everyone could be happy or come to nothing. Though Beatrice is extremely angry, she also seems to be enjoying herself immensely. It's almost as though she's waited a thousand years to get her hands on a toy as fun as this one. Hopefully even this fool will be able to see you before too long. Shiro me George. Missing. Even though everyone was fi Family? Getting along? Finally getting along so well, it's being reunited. In the Yonland, land, all the magic came to nothing because of a certain hard-headed fool. Afterwards, the demons chewed him to the bone and he went to hell. Ushirumi and Jessica, missing. Even though she was given a precious invitation to the Golden Land, a single fool refused to believe in the witch and all the magic disappeared. She was then chewed to bits by demons and went to hell. And so Maria- the premise is the battler fucked everything up. Yeah. Ushirumi and Maria, missing. Hee hee hee. Let's get back. Let's get back did to that shit. we actually look at this one? Oh, sure. yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. All right, let's keep going. Uh, eating apart dismembered. I'm just, I'm just gonna just pour myself some tea. Oh my god, it's your line! Uh, the, there's no time for tea! Speaking of which, don't- This is a fucking tea party and you're telling me there's no time for tea. It's true, this tea. is a tea party, actually. We should take a tea break. Can you pour me some tea, please? Sure, pass, pass a cup over here. Mm. So Speaking kind of, of which, don't kind of you think is... Cannon's last moments were the coolest? Oh, I... Question, what kind of tea is this so we can tell the people at home what this we're drinking? This is lemon and ginger. Yeah. It was originally meant to be lemon, honey, and ginger, but then I didn't have any honey. Oh. Pretty much. That's all right. Maybe next time. You guys should drink tea too, because it's a tea party after all. Speaking of which, don't you think Cannon's last moments were the coolest? Oh, 
Even though he had his t the tables turned on him, it was a showdown with the culprit, right? It's a whole bunch better than our confusing last moments, right? Mm -hmm. uh, though, in the end, I was unable to get a solid hit him. Still, I think Canon Kun's death was a big hint. After all, because of that, the existence of the 19th person was made clear. That's right. At that time, everyone's location was obvious. So it was impossible for anyone other than some unknown 19th person to kill Cannon. You know, except for the faceless corpses that- Ew! I know. Ew! I said it was Beatrice from the beginning, over and over. Ew! I don't want to believe it, but that does prove the culprit was a witch calling herself Beatrice. That's right. There were many strange things that happened that a human couldn't do. Couldn't. Ew! Only a witch could do things like murdering Aunt Ava in that closed room. A human couldn't do it. Also Hideyoshi, but we don't care about him. Ew! Not only is the existence of a 19th person clear, but it's also obvious that this person holds a power that humans can't even imagine. In that case, I don't think there's anything wrong with calling this per person Beatrice. We probably met at the very end. Met with the Golden Witch. Like I kept saying, Beatrice exists! It all went bad because no one ever believed. Ew! Even one of her witch friends says that miracles won't occur if you don't believe. Oh my god. Ew! Is that witch friends confirmed? I have no comment. I can confirm the existence of witch friends. <laughs> That's right. Beatrice Summer is generous to those who respect her. It seems to me that Maria Summer was never a target of Beatrice Summer's wrath up to the very end. Despite the horrible crimes that occurred one after another. Well, Maria <laughs> believed in Beatrice from the very beginning. Mm. But if that's the case, how do you explain why you and the rest were all killed? You guys believed in Beatrice just as much, right? Beatrice somehow probably had her reasons. Ooh. If the Song of the Epitaph represented Beatrice somehow's resurrection ceremony, many sacrifices were needed. It must simply have been designated to be one of those. Shen and Chan, you met a horrible end. At the very least, I wish your death could have been more peaceful and pretty. <laughs> well, it's not like it hurts. She's fucking blushing over her death. Oh. Anyway. Right now, I'm perfectly fine, so don't worry. I think I should... Yes, please. I'll, I'll, I'll narrate this scene. After seeing him stroke Chen's cheek, which had been crushed during the story, everyone laughed out loud, smiling. Well, it feels a bit weird saying this, but I was sure the story would fit into the set of mystery genre. I'm a bit surprised to find out that it's that a fantasy. That is the most <laughs> self-mastery so comment. <laughs> it's so good. After all, a Western mansion is shut away from the outside world on an isolated island with an inheritance problem in everyone's minds? Sounds just like a typical mystery novel to me. Ew, it's not fantasy. Beatrice exists. Ew. Yes, we understand. Beatrice Summer does exist. That's right. <laughs> Beatrice Summer does exist. I hate to admit it, but I've got no choice. Because it's obvious. I feel like, can we just skip to the part where they stop telling us that the 19th person exists? We get no, it. No, we, we keep get going. It. Keep going. A witch was involved. It's true. Anything's happened that'd be impossible for humans. During the story, we tried to deny that in all sorts of ways. But now, I can say it for sure. Each crime, every single one, would have been impossible for a human. They'd be impossible to carry out unless it was the witch Beatrice using all of the power magic could provide. The culprit was a witch. That point's perfectly clear. Heh, <laughs> only <-lived> Beatrice. <laughs> Ew! Everyone believed. I'm so glad. So glad they Ew. believed after they died, supposedly because yeah. they didn't. Well, they're in the Golden Land. They're being resurrected and have their love, like, brought to is them. Is that what this is supposed to be? Yeah. Basically. Mm -hmm. What, do you prob a problem believing I'm this? Just... I don't see what your problem is. I'm just a little emotionally spent. It's okay. We're going to keep going. I feel like I had the metaphorical rug pulled keep... out from underneath me. For <laughs> no those shit. of you that did not witness our face cam, which was all of you, <laughs> my head was in my hands for the entire credit scene. It was so good. Uh, oh my god, I'm so happy. This is the perfect reaction. Please continue. Gods and witches might seem terrifying to people who are frightened of them, but I think they must be affectionate to those who believe and respect them. I think you're right. So this murder case game is fine. No! It's not <laughs> yeah, over! It's finally over! It's not over! Well, she says it's over, clearly! Now's the time <laughs> to pull ourselves together and try hard to solve the riddle of the epitaph, just like Beatrice said, right? Yeah. Ew! I agree. Beatrice will definitely be happy. <laughs> Everyone ignored that letter during the story. 
Even though it was thrust right in front of us, we almost completely ignored it and made me very frustrated. <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for Beatrice Summer. Me too. I feel bad for her. I've got the epitaph written down right here. Let's all solve it. Let's all solve it. This story probably went wrong ever since that time. Maybe so. Maybe we should have tried solving the epitaph's riddle from the beginning. Like Beatrice said, maybe. <laughs> Fucking maybe. <laughs> That's right, Jessica, it is a little late now. <laughs> Even so, let's try to solve it now and see what the witch, if the witch, witch forgives us. Let's go, let's try to solve the riddle of the epithet. It was something like, behold the sweet fish river running through my beloved hometown. Maria put her notebook on the table and opened to the page where the epitaph was written. Everyone stared at it, getting really into it as they started guessing this and that about the riddle. Surrounded by the smell of black tea and freshly baked vanilla cookies, they spent the time comfortably and happily. Such a cheery scene. Just, just wonderful. <laughs> Hold on a second, you guys. The battler spoke in a way that cut through the conversation. And the music, apparently. His expression looked a little unhappy. What could he not like about all of this fun? All of this fun. I've been listening to you guys for a while, but... Why did you all stop thinking? Yeah. Why are you so sure that the witch was behind all this? Don't you realize something like that can exist? With just those words, the happy atmosphere surrounding the tea party evaporated oh! instantly. George and Jessica, and Shannon and Cannon, and Maria, all of them stared blankly, learning what in the world Battler was talking about. Me too! Even the foolish, arrogant Battler realized Clearly he hadn't chosen Beatrice his words is well. narrating this shit. <laughs> but because, isn't it clear that these crimes were impossible for a human? Hold on a minute. Yeah? Is this scene just Battler in purgatory with images of everyone else? I don't know. Is Where that why you... this was called I purgatory? can neither comment nor... Because that's what it I. feels like right we now. Should keep, we should keep pushing is what I'm saying to find out what's going on in this scene. Oh my god, this is just too much. It's so good. That's right. <laughs> None of the cases would have been possible for a human. That's true. After all, wasn't it full of things that humans couldn't explain? I don't understand what you're saying, Battlesama. I'm the one who doesn't have a clue what you guys are talking about. Isn't it obvious that humans committed these crimes? Oh! There's no way something like a witch exists, right? Then, what, what about when I was killed in the storehouse and something horrible was half done to my face? <laughs> if the culprit was human, how could they have accomplished it? That's, well, it's hard to imagine how they did something that awful. That was the Rose Garden storehouse, right? I'm sure there were plenty of weird tools in there. Let's say they used some electrical tools like a grinder and an electric saw. That, that's... There's a wind again! There it is. That's some... Somebody needs to close that window. Uh, and Battler. How do you explain Grandfather's disappearance from the study when it was a closed room? Even though the door was sealed, Grandfather just suddenly disappeared, right? We talked about that during the story, too. It's not impossible that Grandfather used some trick to pull the receipt. It's also possible that he went out to the window, fell down, and that's where he locked the window from the inside. I could think of a bunch of tricks you could use without relying on magic. But it makes sense, but... In that case, Batlacoon, how do you explain the way my parents were killed in that guest room? The door was sealed by the lock and chain. Naturally, the window was sealed, too. How do you think a human could have killed my parents? They're already in the room! We did have to leave that trick alone during the story. Anyway, there's at least a good chance the culprit had a key. It was possible to look in through the crack of the door that the chain allowed. I know this is a stretch, but it's possible some device was used through that crack. Like maybe they stuck something through it. Well, even though a door chain is incredibly simple, it's a big factor in setting up a closed room. Well, there's probably some closed room trick they could have used. If you bought some closed room mystery novels from the bookstore, you could probably find some trick that did fit perfectly. Anyway, I can think of can't think of one now, but I claim there's nothing I claim there's nothing humans can't do if they try hard enough. I'm straight. Isn't that argument horribly irrational? It's just ridiculous to claim it's possible for a human to do something, even though you can't explain how. Why is that ridiculous? Why did you all stop thinking? Even something that looks impossible has to be doable. Doesn't it always work like that? Bettler, you're the one being ridiculous. If you think a human could have done it, try explaining how. You can't, can you? Okay, 
Okay, just thunder. Yep. You're okay with saying the culprit is a witch just because I can't explain it? With that argument, all the unsolved crimes in the world could be resolved by saying a witch is the culprit. Patla, you're sidestepping the issue and you aren't explaining anything. We're saying a human couldn't have done it. Therefore, the culprit is something that isn't human. And that something is a witch. And yet you keep arbitrarily deciding that witches are impossible, even though you can't explain anything. <laughs> it's almost like humanity was during the Dark Ages, like those fools who claimed the heavens spun around the Earth. Those who said that the Earth couldn't be spinning, even though they couldn't explain why. That kind of argument just pisses me off. This is basically what you're trying to say. If I can't explain how a human could do it, then I must accept that the culprit is a witch. It's not like we're forcing you to go that far. We were just wondering on what basis you can say such nonsense. Piano. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, Keep going, fam. Why Look. couldn't this just be the beach episode? <laughs> There's no room for beach episodes. We're on the pain train uh, now. This is a fucking pain train. Let's who's go. Who's talking right now? This is you. Me? Nonsense. Hey, have I really been saying something that weird just now? Am I the one who's crazy? I don't know. You guys are really starting to freak me out. Pelissima, when I died in the boiler room, I was killed by a 19th person who shouldn't exist. Can you explain how a human could have done that? At that time, the locations of the A-Team were well known. Even so, I was killed. We talked about that in the story as well, right? Emma saw about Shan, for example. She said she followed right after you and headed down to the boiler room, but we can't know for sure whether that was a lie or not. For all we know, she might have entered the boiler room with you and caught you by surprise. Or maybe when you stepped into the boiler room, you activated some kind of trap, one that might have been set up to hit you with one of those ice, ice picks. After all, the stink of grandfather's body was coming from the incinerator. Someone was bound to go and check, so if the culprit just set up a trap beforehand, they could easily have stayed away from that place and used the time of Canon Kun's death to create an alibi. <laughs> you talk about a trap in the boiler room, but what kind of trap could that be? Mm, that's right. Following his death, everyone immediately ran over to the boiler room. But we didn't find any kind of weird device, did we? That is correct. About the summer, what kind of trap could I have been killed with? Well, I don't know that. But anyway, they must have used some kind of clever trap, or maybe someone's lying. But what about this? Kanan-kun, what if the whole thing was just you play-acting? That's it, you were play-acting. My neighbor and Uncle Hideyoshi were also play-acting. They made the closed room themselves and were only pretending to be dead. Bettler, has your head been numb? Feeling okay? No, no, it, it, mine hasn't personally, Jessica. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, should I bring some cold drinks? We have tea. We have tea. We have tea. We have tea. tea. Let's drink some tea. Let's drink some tea real Let's quick. Let's drink some tea. Oh, tea break. Tea break. Mmm. Mmm. What, oh, a, what a good tea break. I'm so glad that nothing stressful This left. is such a calm situation to have tea in. I, I was... I was like, oh, tea party, this is gonna be a break and I can relax and just shoot some- No. No. No, I'm shaking my head a lot Straight right on now. the pain train. No, this is it. This, I, when you said pain train, I was like, ah, oh, he's just, you know, he's just- No. He's just playing, but oh my I, god, this is a pain train. Please, please continue. <laughs> pain train. Uh, please Don't continue, look sir. at me with those pitying eyes. I'm not saying something that crazy, right? I'm just pointing out some possibilities you might find if you think of it as all as a trick. Trick, as opposed to magic, yes. Here's uh, the thing I want to talk about right now, man. Oh my god! Stop. No, we're talking, what? we're talking about this ah! shit. What he's do you probably, want from me? He's probably going to go into this a bit more. Oh my god. But the entire novel so far, mm. every time the obvious solution has been presented to them, they go the other way. They That's give true. it an epitaph, they ignore it. Maria tells them yes, they ignore it. All that shit uh. here. They specifically mentioned earlier in the book that the bodies with dis disfigured forms uh -huh. could not be verified as dead. Mm -hmm. Which means, no. if this book is sticking to its guns, oh. that is the case. <laughs> no one is dead at all? No, no, no. The, the, people, the people who were disfigured beyond recognition can indeed not be confirmed dead. That's true. I can either confirm or deny their, their existence as dead people. I also find it suspicious <coughs> oh. that when I was shooting theories about what could have happened, that was the theory that you brought up. Yes. As though it was important. 
I mean, it's a thing that you should bear in mind going forward. That that is a possible thing. Which is what I'm. Okay. I'm not. Look, I'm just bringing it up as a thing. I just feel like when we're talking novel, about plausible theories, that is far more plausible <laughs> than magically disappearing traps. You think so? I don't know. You wanna? You wanna... Also, we're now back to is magic real again. I'm know, a little frustrated. I know it's great. Please, why don't we just continue this this fight between these characters? It's everyone against Battler. Let's go, fam. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm I'm excited. You're about halfway through this. You didn't read the second half, bro. Did look. I? Look, no, look. Isn't it a pretty classic trick in mystery stories to just have one of the victims be playing dead? This is so good. A classic trick. In other words, when Kanonkin was killed, we knew for sure all of the rest of us were. Let's assume that Kumasa. Kumasawa Bachan wasn't lying. Mm. But that's only counting the survivors. What if the culprit pretended to be dead and joined a group of real victims so we'd lose track of them and then acted on their own later? Everything would be explained. Mm. Uh huh? So you're trying to say that Aunt Ava or one of the others was the culprit? But didn't Dr. Nigel confirm all of their deaths as a doctor? That's right. Dr. Nigel checked all of the victims. Hello, Sama. If you're through to work, wouldn't Dr. Nadja have to be one of the culprits too? Uh, yeah, that's right. Once you consider that Dr. Nadja might have been on one of the culprits and faked the proclamation of death, the whole story changes. Absolutely does change if you suspect that. That's why the doctor is so important to figure out whether he's with the culprit or not. See, that's also a classic trick in mystery novels, isn't it? But Dr. Nadja was also killed, right? Uh, about that. That's right, Dr. Nadja faked his death. After all, there wasn't anyone except Dr. Nadja who could examine corpses properly, and everyone was really confused then anyway. He didn't have any spare time to check and see if he still had a pulse. In this theory, any one of the dead people could have been walking around. I think it would have been hard for the six of us who died in the beginning to do that. After all, the shutter was closed, and there was a padlock that couldn't have been opened from the inside. That's right. Mum was holding onto that key. So, was Mum one of the culprits too? <laughs> uh, uh, wait, wait a sec, maybe it was impossible for the first six, but in the case of Aniki's parents, the door was only locked on the outside, so they could have opened it from the inside. That's right, after we left the room, maybe they jumped out the window and got to the boiler room first. Is that too much of a stretch? Maybe Dr. Nanjo made a mistake when examining the corpses. He said it himself, right? There's a very high probability of making a mistake when examining corpses. So if you disguised it well enough or prepared a substitute body, there we go. You yeah. can fake your own death. Let's leave the method or trick they use for later, and you see it's not that hard to deny a 19th person existed, right? Much less a witch, right? At least that much is completely impossible. I don't know why you've been trying so stubbornly to say that one of us is the culprit. Hee 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 hee. In other words, you want to suspect one of your relatives? I'm just a little bothered now by the fact oh my God. that Battler is in purgatory. Look, I know you're concerned, but oh my God, I want to get through this. I want to get I through this scene. I just can't handle this. Can we man. get through this scene, please? I need to take this slowly. Oh my, okay. What do you want to say? Battler is supposedly in purgatory. Yes. He's still questioning magic bullshit. Mm-hmm. Also, he is self-aware of the story that he is in, okay. and is still questioning how things happen. <laughs> I have only one response to you. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> What's wrong, Battler? <laughs> Hold on. Has Battler at any point... Battler did right at the start mention the story, did he not? Oh my god, what story? We're going all the way back. What story are you Oh, it doesn't for? even go far back far No, enough. what are you looking for? I'll just tell you. Did he mention the story, like, as though he was self-aware of it? Yes. He, okay. He, he's, his perspective is that he was an actor on the, the, the game board, as it were. The, like, game that they were in with 18 people. Why do you question it? Keep going, please. Oh, my <gasps> God. Look, I love you, and I, I love that you're theorizing. And but, oh, my God. Did, I think we should construct our <laughs> argument from the point of view that the culprit was a human. Oh, my God. I'll only accept that it's a witch in desperation. At the very end, after everything else has been disproved. There's no way witches exist, right? Why has everyone been casually accepting that the culprit was a witch? I think it's great how your family loves makes you hate the thought that someone close to you is a murderer, 
but is it okay to let that fool you? You want to find the detestable culprit who killed so many people? Definitely Gerda. <laughs> Aniki, don't you want to avenge your parents? Jessica, don't you want to avenge Kanankun? And Kanankun, don't you want to avenge Shannon Chan? Shannon Chan, you should at least want to know who it was that killed you. Guys, everyone totally surrendered and decided that the culprit was a witch. What's wrong with all of you? The foolish and short tempered battler tried to force his ignorance on the others and yelled at them. However, Everyone just looked at him pityingly, silently watching over him. At that time, the wise Maria laughed and pointed out Pepper's uh, mistake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm shocked. All I see is you repeating this nonsense, thinking you figured something out, Battler. So, what's next? How would a human do it? In practical terms, I mean. I imagine you'll say, I just can't think of anything now or with some kind of device using abstract words to run away and evade the topic. What I really want to know, Battler, is this. Why don't you believe in Beatrice? I don't know. <laughs> she exists, so why don't you believe? Because she doesn't exist. Witches don't exist. There's no way. It's almost like a okay. It was almost like a spoiled child who just doesn't want to accept something. The pitying gazes quietly closed in around Battler, but they didn't reach his stubborn heart. God. It's so good. You realize that you're acting just like a spoiled breath throwing a tantrum, right? Battler, Summer, I understand your feelings, but... It just does exist. Battler, good, why don't you believe? Even though there's so much proof. I don't accept the argument that the witch must have been behind everything just because I can't explain it. Does this mean that if you don't know how a light bulb shines, then magic is the cause? Damn. That's wrong, isn't it? There's nothing that can't be explained without magic. All of this about witches and magic is just abdiction of thought. Or abdication of thought. Either way. <laughs> you just surrendered and gave up because you didn't understand what happened. Isn't that right? <laughs> Well, unsurprisingly, it looks like you alone won't believe no matter what, Battler. If even a single person doesn't believe, the miracle won't occur. So if you don't rethink your ignorant theories, the miracle, the magic won't be completed. <laughs> now I see. I finally figured it out. So in other words, you guys were trying to force me to say the witch exists, right? The lie that everyone accepts becomes the truth. Is that what this is all about? so sorry. I'm so sorry I keep going on about this, but what you're doing is all useless. All useless. I refuse. You guys are all pressing me, and that's why it's all useless. Why? Sorry, but why don't you let me spin the chessboard around one last time? You want to force me to accept that there's a witch. It's a really easy way. It's not the indirect way of saying it must be a witch because humans couldn't have done it. All you have to do is show me a witch doing it with magic. Furthermore, what Maria said earlier is, I will really dig her grave. You said that if even one person doesn't believe, a miracle won't occur. Real miracles happen whether people believe in them or not. Even if I alone don't believe. Any, so any miracles or magic or witches that exist only because I believe in them are downright lies. Damn straight. Ugh. Ugh. It, please. No. The uneasy mood following Battler's ignorant rant, ignorant rant was blown away by a very soft and light laugh. Whose laugh? Battler was surprised. He had never heard that voice before. Here he looked at George and Jessica, at Shannon and Cannon and Maria. Comes. He noticed that they had suddenly gone Here respectfully go. silent. This music, though. Oh boy, the rain's back. Hello! There she is! Beatrice! How amusing! I haven't met such a charming human for quite some time. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. <laughs> yeah. If someone did not read the tea party, they would have no idea what was going on. You have to read the tea party to continue. It was impossible for us to continue without cheating. Okay. So it's okay. Hold on. Look, there's a big moment for me. No, that's right. Oh my god. Who are you? Don't you even know the host of the tea party you were invited okay. to? Okay, we're going new. 
There she is. Alright. There is system for me real quick. Okay, now we're good. Don't worry about it. No, maybe no don't worry about it. Maybe later. What are you doing? Go back! How amusing indeed. Okay, 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 okay. This is Beatrice Summer, the golden witch who has lived for a thousand years. There it was! Get on that shit! Oh. Get on that shit! Oh. Uh, there she is! I told you that's what the gap was for! Beatrice! The golden witch who has lived for a thousand years. She has surpassed the limits of humans and, like demons, will sometimes appear in response to the summons made by humans to offer her power in exchange for a price. She likes black tea and ice cream. She hates boredom and people who deny her existence. Well, we got <laughs> the wrong type of tea. <laughs> it's okay! We'll make it up to Beatrice Summer later. Or should I say, Beatrice? Oh, I'm just gonna put my head front because you're being very loud. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all for the performance, but it's kind of killing me. All right. Oh my I'm god. I'm just. I am so drained. <laughs> this is it. This is it. The uh, witch has lived for a thousand years. It's an honor to be graced with your presence, Beatrice Summer. Please forgive Batlicken's ranting. This guy's just stubborn, and um, he still doesn't understand the situation he's in. What a treat this is! Most witches get tired of living after the first thousand years! How nice it is to meet a man with backbones which is yourself every once in a while! It is quite an honor to be present when Pedro shows herself So is this much. what they meant when they said he was a toy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How astonishing. Are you really that desperate to make me believe that a witch, a 19th person as the culprit, this is starting to get interesting. And it's all useless. Useless. You must be the illusion that Maria and the others call the witch Beatrice. And you'll only be allowed to exist if everyone believes it. You have that kind of half existence, right? That's why you want to make me believe too. You can't exist because I alone don't believe in you. There you go. Isn't that right? Your powers of comprehension aren't bad for a mere commoner who knows nothing of magic. Yes, it seems you were born with a strong magic-resisting power. You're a natural enemy of us witches. No matter how much we turn your world upside down, you never believe in us. Therefore, the magic won't succeed. I accept that attitude of yours. Cackle, cackle, cackle. I've got no clue what you're saying. <laughs> it's very kind of you to go all, uh, all of the trouble of showing us yourself to us. But I don't believe you exist in the slightest. It's true that many strange things happened during these two days. Like Maria said earlier, even though I think all the tricks could be explained, I still can't lay out the practical details of each one. However, that doesn't mean I'll surrender. I'm different from the rest of them, got it? Damn. I'll never accept that it was the work of a witch just because I can't explain it. Hmm, this keeps getting more amusing. Making you surrender will be worth my while. You're just the kind of man I like to force into praising my name, if you get what I mean. I'd love to try and make a man like you kiss my toes. Cackle, 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 cackle. Is that supposed to be the signet ring? That was a good spot. I believe so. Also, that's a nice pipe! It is. I love it. Sorry, it's a bit of an inside <laughs> joke, but let's carry on. Let's carry on. If you want to talk nonsense, talk all you want. I deny you exist. Fork. All of the events can be explained with human tricks. There's no room for even a speck of magic or witches. Wonderful! What a perfect way to divert oneself from a thousand years of boredom! Then let me ask you. A short while ago you said that using the crack in the door would be sufficient to kill Eva and Hideyoshi, right? <laughs> Explain how they could have been killed using some human trick. <laughs> Suddenly jumping right into the toughest part, are you? Does that mean this trick you're proudest of? Miss Real Culprit? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, did you see that shit? What? With a shake of her golden pipe, gentle, multicolored smoke trailed out of the end. The smoke quickly obscured their surroundings, and they were suddenly in the hallway of the mansion. Actual factual magic is happening right now. It's great. But it's alright, because he denies it. <laughs> the door in front of them, slightly open but secured by the train chain, was... That's right, it's the door to the room where Avery and Hideyoshi were killed. Nice trick. <laughs> Very well. Show me what you would do through this small crack, Butler. Uh... They probably had some device to shoot those ice picks. If they use that... 
How would they reach Ava over on the bed when you can't see that far through this crack? And how would they reach Hideyoshi in the bathroom with the door shut? Damn. There's a crack. There should also be some way... Cackle, cackle, cackle. If you can't think of one, allow me. Oh. How would a witch do it? Come on, let's see your little trick. Butler, you're being rude to Beatrice. <laughs> how nice, how nice! What a charming man. That will make it even more fun to force him into submission. <laughs> you really want to make me kiss your toes that much? Only if I surrender. But watch. I'll definitely expose this trick and I'll make you kiss my ass instead. Oh! oh! What a delightful man. I'll remember that promise. Weak witches kiss the behinds of demons to gain power because there's no more humiliating oath. Just being told that makes me want to force you into surrender. Pay no mind to Battler's worthless ranting. Beatrice once again shook the golden pipe. That's right, a golden pipe was their precious magic cane. Come, arise, children! I am the guide of purgatory. Hook you for the deadly sins and hold the seven stakes. Guided by those magic words, which sounded like a command, seven stakes gathered. Also the sounded stakes, like keys. The stakes of the seven demons symbolizing the deadly sins of sinful people. Also a rifle. I don't know if you got that. Bills above and Asmodeus. Come, forgive the sins. Release the spirits of the sinners. What? what? The pizza bills above and Asmodeus responded to Beatrice's call. The two stakes of the demons were sucked in through the crack of the door like billiard balls struck by acoustic. Then, several scattered noises reflected through the wall making it sound like a woodpecker. And at the end, a pleasant sound could be heard. Pleasant indeed! Yeah, it was a small, satisfying sound. Like the one heard when someone is chopping firewood, and the falling axe neatly and easily slices through the wood. It was the sound of the two pigs, burying themselves deep into Ava's and Hideyoshi's foreheads. Right down the middle! <laughs> Want to see? They definitely heard two sounds, like a pair of foreheads being split open. Butler wasn't permitted to see it, since he was on the other side of the door. But those two had died again, and this second time, they lay not an inch apart from where they had lain the last time, with the exact same blood sprays before. Moron? That's insane. You think you can just kill them like that? I can kill them. I can kill them just like this. Yup. And they teleport back to the tea room. Suddenly, they were no longer in the hall, but seated at the tea party they had started from. Everyone but Battler was sitting, sitting meekly, but Cannon was moaning, fresh blood dangling from his mouth. What a rude thing to do at a tea party. Satan's stake was buried deep into Cannon's chest. Uh, uh. Cannon? 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 Damn it! Battler was the only one getting agitated. George, Jessica, Shannon, everyone else was meekly hanging their heads like students being yelled at by their teacher. Cannon was captivated by a trifling anger and tried to disturb my banquet. Being easily captivated by anger is your deadly sin. Cleanse yourself, repent, and do it over. At Beatrice Summer. Is he... Who is that last dialogue from? Cannon. Beatrice oh. Summer. Right. Beatrice Summer, please forgive him. I think Canon Kun has repented enough. Uh, wonderful! I am generous to those who respect me. Don't screw with me! You think I'll accept your existence because of this cheap act? Like hell, you're a thousand year old witch. Your tricks aren't a thousand years old, they're just the sum of a century of classic tricks from the mystery genre. There's no such thing as magic. Definitely not. All of the crimes can be explained with human tricks. You would explain my thousand years with a hundred years of humans! Good, good, that's why I like you! <laughs> Foolish Battler. <laughs> Cut it out, Battler Kun. You can't go against the witch. Ugh, piece of blood. <sighs> Shannon started moaning, holding her cheek. Maybe she had a toothache. But apparently it wasn't a toothache after all. A slight redness spread across the cheek Shannon was holding. It looked like that redness was causing Shannon unbearable pain. Her fingers were pressing in against her cheek, and drops of sweat appeared all over her body. Shannon! Shannon! 
Hang in there. Hang in there. What's going on? Damn it, what the hell is that red stuff? He expanded rapidly, covering half of Shannon's face. Then, the stupid dunce battler finally realized. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll say it's George. Please, Batlacoon, please believe in Beatrice. I beg you. Ah, uh, because you won't believe, because you won't believe. The magic is, the magic is dissolving. For the first time in his life, Battler heard that sound like a pomegranate splitting. The red spray even landed on Battler's face. Poor Shannon's face had been split in half, and her last horrible moments in the storehouse were repeated once again. Wow, Shannon, Shannon. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it. Stop it, stop it. Don't humiliate the dead, don't humiliate the dead. Uh, uh. <laughs> what a lovely tea party. This time, the redness spread across George's entire body. It was like the beautiful cloud drawn by milk when it's poured into black tea. Specifically black tea. It spread out and extended across his entire body. As it did, it seemed to give George increasingly greater pain. Looking at this bizarre spectacle, Battle was petrified as he frantically thought with his pitifully clumsy imagination about the nature of the strange death George and the rest were experiencing. Eventually, that redness reached nearby Jessica as well. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Yep. Stop it! Stop it! What did Anihi do? What did Jessica do? Just stop it! Bethlord, don't let the witch break your spirit. Deny her, erase her! As long as at least one person denies her, she's an illusion that can't exist. Are you okay, Jessica? What, an Iniki? George was no longer recognizable as a human. He looked like the pile of leftover meat after the good delicious meat has been scraped off to be cooked. The only thing that even resembled a human was the shape of his lower jaw and ribcage. And it was clear that Jessica, who was covered with a steadily strengthening redness, was approaching the same fate. Uh, Batla, quickly believe in Beatrice. If you don't, everyone's magic will dissolve. Maria, it's all over your body too. I revive all the dead with my magic. But as long as you don't believe that magic will hold no true power. Cackle, cackle, cackle. But I'm sure that a man like yourself will surrender to something like this, right? <laughs> but Batla, we didn't want to doubt our friends. We refused to face reality and gave in to the witch. But Battler, you won't, won't give in to the witch. Uh, Jessica. Uh. Poor Jessica met the same end. Just like George, she ended up like a butcher's leftovers. George and Jessica were now so destroyed, melted and mixed up, it was impossible to tell them apart. Battler, don't cry. We just will restore the dead over and over. There's nothing to be sad about, so even if we die, we're still just fine. The redness began eating into the whole of Maria's body. The foolish battler watched and screamed. I won't forgive you. I'll never forgive you. I believe this is Red Dread. Anyway. A witch? Magic? I'll risk my body and soul to deny you. No matter what happens, I can't accept you. Now that you've gone so far to piss me off, I'll never forgive you. I won't forgive, I won't forgive, I definitely won't forgive you. you regret making me, assure me a battler, your enemy. I'll deny you no matter what. No matter how baffling things get, it can all be explained by humans. I'll raise every cell of you from this world. <laughs> well said! Battler, was it? That's just the thing to divert me from my thousand years of boredom! <laughs> Come, explain! Try explaining it all with human tricks, and learn how lowly humans are! Let's see if what humanity has built up in a hundred years can oppose my thousand years. That's what will make forcing you to submit so pleasant. So tell me, you who call yourself Battler, what about Moia's letter? How the six were killed? The shutter? The receipt seal, the closed room with the chain, Cannon in the boiler room, Genji and the others in the lounge, Natsu his suicide, the riddle of the epitaph, the location of the hidden gold. Yes, Atla, why don't you show me the power of humans? <laughs> uh, whoa!
Is that it for now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Bear with me. Stay is this, is, are we doing the Marvel thing? <laughs> mm. What do you mean? What do you mean the Marvel thing? Oh, when there's like a scene at the end? I mean, we already had that. That was the tea party, right? That was the tea party, okay. Yeah, that was the tea party, the like, after special. <laughs> after the, the main event. What are we waiting for? I swear to God, if you ever skip any of these credit sequences, I will murder you. I will become Beatrice, and I will murder you this way. Back. Is she not real, Ben? <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> There's some expansion, and they cry three. And then they could, and not the three. Let me see what cry. That was a slightly different sound effect. That's great. Just slightly. Oh my god. The like logo getting split by the gunshot. Oh, it's so and good. And thunder. Yeah. New elements. Question mark has been added. Last thing, I swear. This is it. Please. I need you. I need you to. I need you to... I'm just gonna hold you a little bit. Stop. You okay? No. No, no holding? This is too much. Oh my god, it's just one more thing. <laughs> It'll mostly be me talking, if, it, if that makes you any be feel any better. Welcome to the tea party of those who are not human. Yeah, those who are not human. Let's go, motherfuckers! EP1 question mark! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Now, this is gonna sound weird, but I'm gonna take all the characters that Please are in this do. Scene, just so you're aware. I am too... I am too done to do any new character voices. That's right, I got this. It looks like some weird shit. Yeah, it does. Look at that, she just teleported in. What sort of black tea shall I prepare next? Allow me to display every refined tea that ever was and ever shall be. Well, excuse me while I drink my herbal tea. Look at this motherfucker, who's this? Dried plum black tea. The kind that goes for 200 yen a pack. I don't know if that's expensive or not. I don't know either. Gow, gow, gow. For a thousand years, I've been fond of black tea, but I did not know of such a thing. I will never tire of living in this world. Beto, you don't have to display such hostility. Beto! Beto, I am just a wandering witch. Is that a Japanese thing, or is that a nickname? It's a nickname. I didn't come with the intention of violating the rules of your territory. Kako kako. Hostility! No, I, just I take bear the microphone. nothing of the sort. I am just terribly concerned with seeing to it that the legendary witch Lady Burn Castle is well attended to. Please, system me up. Characters, look at that. Click on both of them. Oh my god. Burn Castle, the witch of the fragments who has lived a thousand years. It is said that she lives in a world where the concepts of fate and possibilities can be visualized. She observes the fate of humans and sometimes interferes. In other words, sometimes she is you and sometimes she is your only friend, understand? She likes wine and spicy foods. She hates boredom and people who never learn. Now, the other thing you might have noticed, there are some new buttons. No! Hold on! Look at that! Look at those buttons, you should press those. What a useless dream, to try and kill me despite being a mere human. Fire your bullets and they'll merely reflect back towards you like the light of a mirror. However, there exists just one way to kill me. You hold that method in the palm of your hand, though I doubt one as mediocre as you could ever pull it off. <laughs> Resurrector. Now burn castle. Ah! The castle. By constantly continuing to think, I will live forever. In other words, if I were to stop thinking, I could die at any time. However, once I start thinking again, I can also revive at any time. That's why I'm fickle and whimsical. I live as I please, die as I please, and revive as I please. That's it. You can't revive them all at once, unfortunately. <laughs> this is fun. I'm enjoying this game. I hope you're having fun in this this tea party with these lovely witches. <laughs> Change the scene if I hit these buttons. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. I can confirm that. Normally, I can't confirm or deny, but in this case, I definitely can confirm. We have to have a talk about this anyway. Uh, but Gus is well attended to, if I may. You misunderstand. I am powerless. Before a witch such as you possesses the dreadful power to kill an individual a hundred times, I am completely powerless. That a powerless lady witch like you possesses a power that none can approach is what is truly terrifying. After all, that great witch, Lady Lambda Delta, was dethroned by you alone. 
I only won an endurance contest. She simply got tired. That is not what Lady Lambda Delta said, though. Too much humility can be unseemly, Lady Burncastle. And then she just teleports over. Oh my god. That girl has a dreadful power. The power to kill an individual without fail. However, without fail doesn't this is a exist. Soliloquy? Doesn't exist in this world. What do you mean? What's the problem? I don't see any problems with this. No matter how many times you divide one, you can never reach zero. That girl has the power to bring the odds of failure down to almost exactly zero. The power to give rise to almost perfect certainty. I hope I never have to fight such a terrifying witch again. However, you have the power to cause success without fail as long as the odds are not zero. Those say without fail doesn't exist in this world, you possess an infallible power yourself. How very terrifying. <laughs> cackle, cackle. The power to kill an individual endlessly. I think you're the more terrifying one. You jest. From your point of view, mine is but a trifling power. This is most certainly what one would call empty praise. Call it flattery to make up for the cost of staying here. I am a fleeing traveler who crosses the fragments, continually running from boredom. I simply came around because I heard you'd started something interesting. Have no doubts that I will choose to leave as soon as you are no longer interesting. Cackle, cackle. I, Beatrice, am deeply and humbly delighted to have the great Lady Bird Castle as an observer. Cackle, cackle. And so, your impressions. Lambda Delta is terrifying because of her cruelty, but she's a girl I can understand. You do seem to be capable of affection, but I can't understand you at all. That makes you much more terrifying than her. Cackle, cackle, cackle. I am fickle by nature. Do forgive me. Besides, I believe you also enjoy entrusting your fate to the role of fickle dice, right, Lady Burncastle? When I roll the dice, I have a role I clearly want to get. Unlike you, you, on the other hand, never let the dice fall from your hand. So, whatever the role might have been, you're never disappointed. Whatever role the dice show you, you are satisfied without fail. In that sense, you far surpass me. You're one I really don't want to fight with. Inside of you, there's nothing but zero. That's why I can't win against you with my power. It's the worst compatibility. Perhaps Lambda Delta, on the other hand, has a good compatibility against you, since she would be able to kill your endless nature. Cackle, 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 oh. <laughs> oh yes, witches truly are the best people to enjoy black tea with. One doesn't get bored. Cackle, cackle. Then I'm relieved. Boredom is the only poison that can kill me. So don't kill me, okay? Lady Beatrice and the Switch. If such is your wish, I, Beatrice, shall show you an even better time. In that case, wouldn't it be best if I brought the next chessboard in right away? It seems the next tale would do more for you than another cup of black tea. Dots. Oh. Just wait for a moment. Cackle, cackle. She's heading out to get the next game board. Game board hype. Something troublesome seems to have taken a liking to you. I'd really like to lend you my power, but as you just heard, that girl's power and mine have a very bad compatibility. Unfortunate as that may be. But you really are pitiful, so I'll help you out just a bit, Felix. First of all, about that girl. She does have the name Beatrice, but that doesn't necessarily mean she is one individual woman. Get what I mean? In other words, She's not some human. Her existence is a sp personification of the rules of this world. To beat her, you have to expose the rules of this world and unravel them. Perhaps this can be likened to learning the rules of chess by watching a game. First, take a good look at the chessboard. Then, learn the movements and roles of the pieces. Then, look for the conditions required to win at her game. When you've managed to reveal all these things, her heart will be exposed. After that, you can rip it apart or crush it as you please. I am being quite generous. In the past, when I had a human body, 
Took me a hundred years to notice even this much. This is my meager farewell gift to you, the pitiful one captured by Beata. It's just like a spoon. A spoon can be used for more than just drinking soup. You can use it to dig through the prison you're locked in, or as a weapon to gouge the witch's white eyes out. Of course, you can also use the spoon to continually sip the watery soup inside your eternal cell. If you'd like. Don't get the wrong idea. I have no intention of becoming your ally. I do feel empathy for you, but I won't help you. It's like I'm sitting in front of the television, yelling at you on the other side, even though my voice won't reach you. So you understand that I am a witch, right? I intended to enjoy this endless tale that Beto is going to weave until I tire of it, but that alone won't hold my interest. That's why I lend you my power. It's also that I don't get tired of this. I am the cruelest witch in the world. Whoever the opponent may be, I'll make them surrender with certainty. Even if it's Beatrice the endless witch, okay? You are my game piece. Give it your best shot. I'll give you advice sometimes out of her sight. Don't bore me, okay? Eagle, giggle, giggle. Boy. There you go. Look at that. The third and final credit scene. Good. She is Sabi Dimpura. I think I know her. I think she's in the. Anyway, it's fine. She's in a Discord chat that I'm in. Anyway, new game board, new features, which we can have a quick look at if you'd like. Um. Oh. And we're back to the start menu. <laughs> I think we might need some time to think about that. Really? So does this black magic exist or not? Oh, look, a new title screen. Like an aquarium or something. Are you okay? Are you coping? I'm not coping. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> Like, I went into this with no expectations. <laughs> I love it! I went into this with no uh, expectations. Oh my god. And yet, everything I believed has been ripped from me! That's my feeling when I first experienced this as well. I hope you know. I went in and I was like, nothing they could do will surprise me <laughs> utterly. <laughs> and I have been gut punched! You were even expecting her to sh Beatrice to show up. And it still was just like, what is happening? What is this? What, they're all, like, dying? Like, and there's this other witch? What? The other witch thing, that's not what's... <laughs> the, the thing is, right, uh, I was expecting oh, that the Ishiramiya story uh -huh. was going to be, like, the story, and we, you know, go on tangents from it and come back, which I still think is what we might do. Okay. I still think that's where we're going in the end. Do you want me to tell you about how this is gonna, how this story is structured? Because we're at that point. They talked about but, okay. game boards. Let Do you me, want to talk about that? Let me, let okay, me, okay, let me okay, finish cool. my thought. Reason, reason so saying. what I'm thinking is, right now, we're going to go through... I'm going to guess six different stories mm -hmm. of just other shit that Beatrice is doing to fuck with people. Maybe. Maybe other mysteries, maybe other shit. I don't know. We'll find out. I okay, hope. okay. We'll see what happens then. I won't other, tell you about the other, structure. Other then. game boards. So, okay, sure. Because, I mean, I'm assuming basically... We're going to establish the rules of how Beatrice works to then go back in what I assume episode 8 will be, which is to finally wrap up the fucking first shit. You're close? Do you want me to tell you? Sure, is... hit me with it. So, they specifically said, Beatrice has created a game board. If we go to the tip section, if we think of it like chess with pieces, um, so with 18 pieces rather than uh, how many is on a chessboard, we can think of these characters. Oh yeah, there's also new tips. The game record is there. There's a note about the sort of uh, rifle, which is, I mean, it's important enough. Anyway, yeah, you can execute them, resurrect them at will. These are the pieces of the game board. These are the 18 pieces with which the witch will try and do whatever it is that she's doing. We're going to go over the same period of time with different events, with different things happening, different shit going on. And we're gonna have to try and figure out whether magic is real or not, because Battler has been tasked with disproving the witch, obviously. Um, but, as you've said, we don't 100% know whether 
when we've seen witches is the problem. So disproving magic might be difficult. Um, but Batlick keeps talking about like it's this illusion that everything he's seeing is false. Um, that that pur purgatory place just is not a thing. Um, yeah, the seven stakes of purgatory are pretty cool. Um, I thought there was a next button here when I clicked it before. Uh, I guess not. Uh, but yeah, so the seven stakes of purgatory, I won't read all of it. Um, you guys can pause and like read everything if you like. But they can hit anyone with perfect accuracy, but they can only hit someone who has committed sins. Um, but they can't hit anyone who has a strong resistance to magical power, uh, which is an interesting note. Um, the sort of shotgun, or the, sorry, the Winchester uh, sort of rifle, um, I think it tells you a little bit about that. Switch, switch over to the... Oh my god, are you reading it? Where are we, where are we going? Go to the rifle. Just to have a quick look at it. So, uh, it was made to handle 0 .5, 0 .5 long cold bullets. It holds 4 plus 1 rounds. Um, this is just so that we can talk about the rifles in terms of what they're capable of in case that comes up in the mystery. In case. In case, yes. I'm sure they would have put this note here if it was completely irrelevant. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think we should go through every single Twilight right now, but I think we'll definitely make a video where we do that. Um, yeah, we've got the entire game record here with each of the characters and what happened to them, which is super useful. Uh, this is why I said notes would not be as necessary as you might think, because the game keeps track of most of the important stuff for you, which is really cool. Props to Ryukishi. Good work, man. Love you. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess we'll put a cap on it until next time, where we try and solve the mystery, right? You broke- I think we might have broke Felix. I'm, I'm sorry. just, <laughs> like, I'm in this state right now where I really want to find out what the fuck is going on, but I'm also so emotionally <laughs> drained from that fucking roller coaster. It was so good. I told you it was a fucking intense sequence and that we should just go ham. I told you. We were not going to take a break between any of those tea parties. That would have been the worst thing to do. Yeah. Feel emotionally broken. That's how I felt. You know the, the pain of an Umineko fan now. <laughs> um, you've been initiated. Just bring it on the Discord server. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Next time, when something else cries, it's probably still seagulls. <laughs> probably still seagulls, especially considering there are still seagulls and there is also water in the shot. Yes. This I is assume in... this is an aquarium. Yeah. I don't know, was an aquarium mentioned at some point in the story? I don't know, it's so weird. Was there? There definitely was, don't worry about it. When was there an aquarium It's fine, we'll, we'll literally find out the next episode, it's fine. Oh, anyway, okay. we should wrap this, because we need to do a post-episode deconstruction. So, any final thoughts? Fuck this shit!